Howdy Zowdy, Big Beefy Burger Buddy here with more Balatro. Uh, gonna be honest, didn't think I'd be back to playing this so fast, but this game got a really important update. I'm sure if you, uh, if you know about Balatro, you saw the important, uh, <laughs> update. <laughs> Where, um... Yeah, all the face cards have, uh, new skins if you want to use them. And, um... Yeah, you got you got Among Us. You got the funny Among Us crewmate imposter, and then that's like the only one I know. Uh, that's uh, that's a terrible joke that I don't want. Uh, for for sure. Okay, well, perishable jokers. Well, we'll go for that one for now. But yeah, um, it's been a minute since I've played this game. We need a nine, and you get a uh, you get you get skins now if you want to use them. This, this is an official update. This isn't like a mod of uh, Witcher Three Among Us, Dave the Diver, and Vampire Survivors. Um, you don't have to use them, but I figured uh, why not? Because I definitely know um, Geralt here, and then uh, this is Dave the Diver, and then. If I see any of the cards from that, I don't, I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know these games. I haven't played Dave the, Dave the Diver. I haven't played uh, Witcher. I played some Vampire Survivors. Quite a bit of it, actually. Um, Vampire Survivors. Okay, paintbrushes look really good, so I, I'm gonna pick it. And, uh, yeah, Econ's pretty good too. But, uh, Vampire Survivors uh, did an actual official DLC as well. Or, like, it was actual DLC, not just, like, an update. Um, that was literally Among Us. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, um, I played a little bit of that, and it was genuinely, like, kind of bad. <laughs> so I just never played, I never played that game again after that. Um, bat, baseball, I can't really take it. I would take it, but, you know, I can't. So I need to get back in the swing of this game, it's been a minute since I've done it. Um... It looks like, again, we're still going to be playing straights because even though we got a full house here, good luck getting anything, like, decent. I'm, I'm going to play the full house. I just want to see what the, the difference is. Pretty, pretty bad. I really don't need to, like... Yeah, we need an eight basically what we're at here and uh, maybe we'll get it there you go let's let's finally use this card and then maybe we'll get like some money and then make the end of the game here a little bit irrelevant we're still we're still needing something here okay so we need another score joker and we'll probably need another one after that because this one's gonna deep up here in a second <laughs> Uh, a devil card. Well, I mean, if you need a, a, a joker um, at some point, you're probably not going to get it right there. At least we did get the straights. So we're still going to be playing straights here. Uh, cards drawn face down after each play. Hopefully that won't matter. We could use a... I'm going to go for the big boy one. We just need a 10. We just need a 10. What are the chances we get the 10? We got it. The the uh, the cr the crewmate character is a little distracting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not used to the cards looking like that. Okay, so face card scored, and it's okay. Um, I think that's a good Joker. Uh, kind of puts us into a position where we gotta be playing very specific uh, types of straights, but um, we'll we'll do it. That's just crazy, Joker. Uh, yeah. 
I know I like Fortune Teller, um, but we're on the point of the game where you don't get a lot of money, so you can't really um, buff it as easily. I guess that's good too, because you could be uh, playing a lot of face cards that way as well. And then we just gotta hope that we we get enough. Um, and this would score t terribly, so let's not play that one. And then hopefully just uh, yeah, there you go. There's a there's the straight we're looking for. Should have played the uh, should have played the uh, lucky card. It would have been nicer. A little hard to notice it. Um, it's pretty uh, debuff sensor. Yeah, we just get a lot of debuff cards. And then um, maybe re make rerolls cheaper. Nah, we're gonna save for econ because like you could either save for econ for half the game or get like one tarot card and or, like make that mechanic irrelevant. Trust me, I haven't forgotten that that's a thing. Yeah, the 15 molts definitely helping us out. Um, uh, the funny card. There you go. See. I got the thing that makes the thing irrelevant, so now we can now we can start doing things to, to modify our deck. Temperance, um, gonna be real. Let's keep it a hundred. I don't know if I want a glass card yet. You debuff. Um. I've already upgraded the straights, so I think we're staying into the, into the straights. Base, uh, base is half might be kind of bad, honestly. I mean, it's not upgraded that much, but um, you know, base chips being half usually is a uh, <laughs> a way that you lose a lot of uh, your point values. I'm actually gonna do this so I can play the uh, lucky card and hopefully it plays. 20 molt? Nope. Okay, we just gotta play one more. Uh, is that gonna happen? There is a possibility that doesn't. Um, seeming a little likely it doesn't. So now we're just playing our, uh... Alright, we actually got it? Okay, I'll take it. That should still win, because we scored like, like one chip under 4,000 on that first hand, I think. Alright, um... So Rocket is going to be giving us a lot of money now. And Vampire is really good, but also it's kind of bad because it's very, very weak. I just need the hand I'm playing to level up, and this is, uh, this is Balatro. That doesn't happen in this game. You need a voucher to make the game playable. And I, I will recognize that that's, uh, that's a decision that was made. When, uh, when playing this game. Hold on. Alright, I'm done sneezing. Uh, here's, um, here's a straight. With two lucky cards. Maybe one of them will proc. Nope. The gameplay changes are that we, uh... <laughs> we made lucky cards, actually. does not, uh, actually proc. Alright. That's not actually true, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that that's the case, because it'll make me feel more justified when the outcome does not favor me. We still have three jokers, by the way. I just want to point that out. Still got three jokers, by the way. And we've upgraded the card we, hand we wanted to play, I think, once or twice. No, we, we upgraded it once, and full house twice. And uh, we still continue to get really uh, just useless cards. Let's just get a reroll. Uh, I think we have to try. Uh, is it gonna kill us? Probably. I mean, it doesn't... Doesn't hurt to, like, at least try with that. Um, I don't think it's gonna end up uh, mattering. Because we need to be playing, uh... Yep, this is usually what you do with those. Um... 
and that's not even a full house because I got two kings. Yeah. I think it's just a wash. Because we just didn't upgrade the hands we were playing. And, uh, yeah. Now, should I have discarded one card on all of those? Um, probably not. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that's a, that's a, that's a Balatro moment. A Balatro moment. Uh, where you were, uh, you were fortunate enough to never get, um, anything you really needed to be able to be successful. Which is exactly why I stopped playing this game. But they added Among Us crewmates, so the game's actually better than it was before. You see? So you gotta play the game when it's like at its uh, it's, it's at its peak at this point. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm already just like. The, there's the settings. Can I, can I disable it now? No? Customize deck. Uh, default. 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 And default. There you go. I'm already tired of seeing them. Uh, great update. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can make some things diamonds, you know, why not? Maybe do a good old flush build, spend three dollars to not make money. I, I genuinely don't know what I could have done last run to like, not have uh, the opportunity where I needed a joker like four times and I only get like tarot cards and have to spend five dollars to get a reroll. So I can get like something decent. Like, hey, there you go. Uh, clearance sale is good. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can utilize that. And then sure. Uh, we got needle on on round two. Skip for money so we can actually play the game is uh, the the plan here. So how much does this score? Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be a good uh, thing. I'd like one more Joker before um, one more that's like usable. I'll buy. I'll just buy that for now, and then buy this. Sure. I mean, I could diamonds more. We could make more diamonds. <laughs> that's uh, not not too common. You get to do fun things with your deck. Uh, on the later stakes here. Uh, but we're we're getting our <laughs> we have enough molt early enough uh, that abstract joker is enough. Now everything here is gonna go away like very quickly. Uh, spend money to Dude. <laughs> spend money to get that this is honestly kind of bad because we bought the thing, but you know what? We get a we get a hermit. Hermit's good. Um, we have to use this money though effectively. Raise the cap so we get more money. Maybe reroll once. Nope. Three of a kind. Um, and then just go. Will I use that three of a kind? I'm not planning on doing it, but it's there as an option, and I don't think it'll score that highly. Especially because we kind of need to play a flush to be able to do, like, anything. I don't even know how many of these I have in my deck right now. Which is usually a good sign. Okay, well, we had enough points anyway. See, the thing that I'm not doing is I'm not just playing a high card build and winning the game. Splash. Splash is so, uh, so funny. Deja Vu, by the way. Aura. I like Aura more than Deja Vu. Put it on an ace. That's a pretty good ace. Nah, I, I tried doing straights. Uh, they didn't want me to do them, so I'm just gonna tell them, yeah, no, get out of here with that. And then we're gonna get, like, nothing. Like, neither, none of these hands are gonna be played. I'm glad that it was, uh... 
an opportunity for my my deck to gain strength there, and I I was uh, denied such an opportunity to actually have anything valuable. In there. So then you just go to the next round, and then hope that you. Uh, can find something to replace uh, Abstract Joker here because it's about to deprecate and you'll need a new one. I like the Joker setup. I'm gonna, I mean, Popcorn is actually pretty good, but at least early game. Um, but we, we really are just needing like something. Make multi cards, I guess. Alright, we'll do this. Just make these jacks multi, and then put that in hand for when I get something better. Uh, we're never gonna get a flush upgrade. You, you, do you just not get the card upgrades that you for like card hands you play in this game anymore? Is that something that like updated it as well? Am I am I wrong? Is it just something that you don't do now? All well, diamonds debuffed, that uh, makes sense. Fuck you. Uh, you are a great game. I mean, this is probably gonna be the only, uh, suit... Suit-related, uh... <laughs> boss blind that will end up... Crippling us. Um, so all the other ones are probably... Don't matter now. So that's at least nice. Banana. Um, I mean, hand size is, like, incredible, and I, I should just to take it for sure, um, and then we're gonna take Gross Michelle because I need something, and we're gonna delete you because you're bad now and you're dead. Um, I guess we just open all of our packs. Judgment, I guess. Hallucination. Um, sure, I'll just do this now. <laughs> okay. On a... On a we have nothing but deprecating jokers, which is great. Um, just want to point that out. But I used that just so I could do this. Uh, we can make more diamonds, which is funny because we will never draw um, face cards when we do the diamond draw. Uh, unless they're already diamonds, obviously. But I'll go for that. Could get $20, but uh, you know. Should have enough uh, points to win this next one. Yep, not just kind of barely. Um, there you go. A uh, gross Michelle broke instantly. By the way, I, it's actually kind of good. <laughs> I just realized. I, I looked away and I'm like, I I didn't lose one of those. Oh, I know what happened. Um. I'll death card a two into another king. Uh, I guess we could buy a pack. That is a that is a retrigger. But that's also I'm gonna be real. I think blue seals are better than red seals for at least just winning the game. For endless, they're uh, like red seals are a lot better on the later antis. But getting your hands to be able to. It's better than any pack because you're guaranteed to get the hand that you're trying to do if you, as long as you uh, win with it. And they are hitting me with a uh, huge decision to go all in on face card playing. Uh, and I'm willing to go for it. We just have to now play a bunch of face cards. So which means we're weaker now to... Where's the button to leave? <laughs> Next round. Uh, we are much weaker to any boss blind that tells us uh, that we should get eliminated. Um, I think, yeah, we just... Let's just buff all of this. You can be a chip card. I'm willing to delete some of this. I mean, we have a lot of diamonds, so there's a, there's a chance. I don't need to drag the rest of these over there, but here we don't need to play like that. So 
This should be like a decent. We're not gonna get a whole lot from our jokers, but we will molt all of these cards, and then this joke this one uh face card is gonna give us extra molt on that. Uh, not enough to win. Uh this should just win it though. It's gonna be a lot right there. There you go. Now we are able to finally upgrade our hand with the uh, with the use of a blue seal that we were given and not any packs we open. Keep that in mind. We finally upgraded our flush anti four because of a blue seal and not any packs that we opened. This continues to be true here with these packs that I gotta say, probably my favorite mechanic in this roguelike in particular, is not upgrading your abilities. <laughs> Another diamond. I'll take another diamond. Reroll. Bad. Start with zero discards on the deck that discards are generally the better thing. I'll take it. This should score decently. Uh, our popcorn deprecated a lot, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Uh, but there's a chance we just lose because um, I want to. I just want to point out again, we're still playing, trying to play flushes, uh, and we're level two flush anti four with um, none of the packs that we open giving us flushes. And we got two deprecating jokers. I remember why I don't like this game very much. I'm gonna give it one more attempt. Just because I want to unlock the last deck in the game uh, is the only reason I'm playing Orange Steak right now. I don't know. Maybe I don't have uh, maybe I don't have like Brimstone unlocked in this game. I don't remember on my other account. Like I've been winning Gold Steak after Gold Steak uh, with other Jokers that I have. Probably better Jokers than the ones I've been offered, uh, and that would be definitely be the uh, the case of why I've been winning those ones. Uh, mostly two common jokers that actually do something would be pretty cool. Instead of uh, literally name a card that wasn't deprecating on my end uh, last run. Okay, well, so... I'll do it. Right. This is one of my favorite jokers in the game. Black Stake and Onward. <laughs> And um, hopefully we'll get to utilize it uh, effectively. Because one, I guess we should pivot to trying to play a flush of this variant. So here's uh, here's why this Joker is good. Uh, molt molters are um, insanely good. Let's just play this. Cause who cares? It's twelve. Points. Um, molt molters are really good. This one's a scaling molt molter. Um, this is a really awful joker, because it only can give you at most $5, and that's bad. So, you need money already, so it's solving an issue that you probably aren't dealing with. Uh, good joker, by the way. Um, guess we'll try pairs. Guess we'll try pairs is what I say when I don't get it. Let's try the smaller hands. For now, hand size uh, probably probably the worst one you can get this early. Let's try to go straight, and we're probably not gonna get a straight because we got that low hand. I'm surprised we got a straight. It's not gonna be enough to win. We'll probably have to play like one more like. I'm losing my mind because uh, we don't have an eight. Um, high card. Let's go for high card. We just do another high card. Uh, we upgraded pair, <laughs> so we can make that give us some points. <laughs> All right. So here's what we really want. I don't want you. You're not good enough for uh, for me to keep you forever, and I can't buy you because you'll die.
I don't even know what I want to play at this point. Uh, with the the hand size high card, skip it. Give me give me a high card. How much is a high card score for me? Yeah, I mean, we could do a high card, I guess. All right, what do I want? Um, it's kind of a waste of money. I'm willing to look. I'm willing to pop this open and check it. All heart cards do buffs. Who cares? Will I will I score enough uh, points this time? By the way, can I get? High cards are actually better than a full house right now. <laughs> okay. It's better than a straight right now. So, um, so <laughs> literally our only option, of course, of course this is debuffed. Just wanna make sure I can't have fun. Just gotta make sure. Uh, will this work? Hopefully. Um, we'll need better um, hand hand size is not like necessary now. Let's just uh, we're not gonna win now because we just don't have enough points. Um, maybe. Yeah, we don't have enough points. Uh, we never got a perishable. Well, we got a pair, one perishable joker that we required for pairs. But we also bought a pack that didn't fucking upgrade. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd say uh, that's Balatro Lug. Maybe I should just play a different deck for now. Um, instead of trying to play on Orange Stake when I don't have Brimstone on that. Uh, and then. <laughs> call that that uh, for now. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, join my Discord in the subscription. I'll see you in the next one. Um, let's see if this uh, see if the game's fun still. <laughs>